All right, John, thanks. Felony charges against Steelers assistant coach Jory Porter have been dropped. The district attorney says that video evidence does not support the charge. While the DA tossed out the harshest penalties, Porter still faces two minor charges. Paul Martino is live at Heinz Field with the very latest. Paul. Susan, this is a big relief for Joey Porter, who was accused of assaulting a police officer. If he'd been convicted, uh, he would have faced some jail time. But as it stands now, he'll probably just pay a fine. Grainy cell phone video recorded Porter's arrest on the South Side Sunday. Police say he lifted a bouncer off the ground and restrained a police officer. But after reviewing enhanced surveillance video, the district attorney doesn't see it that way. And Porter's lawyer agrees. And I've reviewed the video also. It is uh, HD quality and it captures the whole of the episode. And that they determined, even at a low threshold, that the charges that were filed were unwarranted. A statement from DA Stevens Palace says, in part, the only charges supported by the video are summary disorderly conduct and summary public drunkenness. We will withdraw the other charges at the appropriate time. I can tell you that Joey uh, was elated, uh, heartened, and relieved, uh, as was his wife. Porter was charged with aggravated police officer. That's a felony could have landed him in jail for five to ten years. But now that he's facing disorderly conduct and public drunkenness, misdemeanor charges, he'll likely end up with just a fine. He was not comfortable with uh, the implications, uh, especially with the four kids and being a Pittsburgher, that, that he was a, a violent individual, that he was disrespectful, uh, that he didn't like law enforcement, or that uh, he would put somebody in harm's way. No immediate comment tonight from Porter or the Steelers. Uh, he was suspended from the team following his arrest Sunday night, and it's not clear right now if he'll be on the sidelines for Sunday's playoff game with the Kansas City Chiefs. Reporting live outside Heinz Field, Paul Martino, KDKA-TV News.